welcome to my channel this is Ogon Wadi's channel thank you so much for tuning in today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make peppered snail listen to that peppered snail I know some of you don't like snail but believe me this is amazingly awesome okay all right so this is a snail right here it's clean already but I'm still gonna go ahead and wash it more. You know how slimy it is. It's no more slimy, but just, you know, just for precautions. So to wash it, I'm gonna be using this lemon juice. Also, I have two, a whole lemon and one lime here. I'm gonna be cutting it and using it to just scrub the body one more time, just for extreme cleanliness, you know? I have here with me purple and uh, yellow onions, I should call it. You're going to need star cube, ginger, and this is some um, red bell pepper already blended, coarsely, not smoothly. Over here, I have curry powder, and this is my coconut oil. You can use olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever oil you want, but I'm using coconut oil. You're going to need, of course, thyme and black pepper, all right? Also, I'm gonna be using whole nutmeg, just one of it, smoked paprika, salt, and some lemon pepper. You know, I want to bring out all those. So, this is garlic. Already here, I have garlic and ginger already blended. Okay, but you know, this is ginger and garlic. And for the garnishing, you're gonna be needing our rainbow pepper, which is red, green, and yellow peppers the red bell pepper all right and also here you know remember it's called pepper snail here are my scotch bonnet pepper i have the yellow the orange the red this is spicy hot adjust your spiciness the way you feel comfortable for me i love it spicy and this is snail it definitely needs to be super spicy for me all right so let's go into making this the first thing we're gonna do will be to rewash the already washed okay, so i'm gonna okay. pour in the lemon juice you don't have to use both lemon juice and whole lemon but you know like i said i just want to be sure because normally they wash it already and then you buy though i washed it and put in the freezer but still I like to just do the same thing so anyway let me just soak it and go ahead and cut the whole lemon okay so you know just use it and clean it up and you get a bowl where you're gonna be transferring it all the inside in Nigeria normally they get the snail from like a slummy water kind of yikes that's where you get it from especially in the rainy season it's quite expensive if it's not a raining season well you know we got to eat what we gotta eat just give it a very good clean lemon is very powerful guys just like it exfoliates your skin <laughs> as the same way is working out for this snail if you touch it right now it's squeaky clean it's not slimy you know, you place it one side, get another one. It might be a little tedious based on you doing them one by one, but you know, it's worth the pain. You want to eat and enjoy. You don't want any slimy or dirt or anything on your food, okay? You're just going to do this to the whole thing. At the end of it, I'm just going to squeeze out the lime. Remember, I'm using both lime and lemon. Just squeeze it out on top of it, just to give it a little limey touch also. Make sure you also open inside. Just go ahead and rub the lemon around it. Catch everything. We're almost done. I remember my, my oldest son telling me he wanted a a snail for a pet <laughs> I laughed I'm like that snail will not survive in my house because I'm gonna eat it while you're sleeping how can you want a pet snail these children eh? 
That's what he wanted, the first snail. So when he saw that we eat snail, he didn't want it anymore. He's like, ew, you eating it? Now he likes it. He likes me to make it. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze in. This slime is almost out of liquid here. Just squeeze it in. It's not like it's necessary, like I said. Just me just being a little more precaution. Okay, our smell is definitely good to go. Give it a quick wash again. One water on it, and then it goes into the pot. It takes a while to cook, though. Smell is not easily cooked. It takes like 30 to 40 minutes to cook it. So now it's time to boil the snail. Let me just quickly prep what I'm going to use to boil the snail, okay? I'm gonna be boiling it with like uh, one or two of the scotch bonnet pepper just for a little spiciness. So you get your pot. I should have used actually a wider pot but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my bouillon cube, your gnaw cube, maggie cube, whatever you have, whatever you're using, you call it. And I'm going to grate in the nutmeg. This is just for flavor. You can skip it if you want. Okay. The next thing will be to put the onions and the pepper. salt. Don't put too much salt. If you put too much salt in the snail, you spoil the whole thing. And give it a stir. This is hot. Let me hold this. You add your water. And then I'm going to take some of this ginger and garlic paste. Okay, so let's let it cook for 30 minutes, okay? For the snail to boil, we're going to go ahead and start prepping this. All I'm doing is just, you know, slicing the peppers to any shape you like. You want to, you know, do whatever you like with this. You're good to go. So let's start. Remember, always remove the seeds. They are very bitter. Believe me, you don't want them in your meal. That's why every time I slice a pepper, red bell pepper, I tend to wash it again. To make sure there's no waiting for the snail to cook. Let's just go ahead and make the sauce. Let me open this to make it faster. Okay, that's the coconut oil. I like to use it, it's more healthier. It gives it another beautiful taste on its own. But remember, don't fry coconut oil too much because you don't want it burning your stuff. I just want it to warm up, not too much, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I intentionally cut the onion this way. I did it intentionally. I like to eat it like this when I'm making snails. Mostly when I'm making fried either fish, chicken, whatever. This is how I like to cut my onion. So we're just gonna allow it to uh, caramelize a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and add um, our pepper. Over here, I already cut the rainbow pepper. I always call it rainbow pepper. This is how I want it to be. That's going to be the last thing we're going to be putting wow. anyway. We're going to be adding the blended pepper. You can also use tomato if you want. But this is just red pepper. Only red pepper. I blended and then I boiled it to drain off the excess water in it. I always like to have it handy. In case I want to make sauce like this or jollof rice or something, you know, it will shorten my cooking time. So you might think of doing that because it's really helpful. And I'm going to be adding the remaining ginger and garlic paste. Guys, you need to make this ginger and garlic paste always ready. It comes in real handy. You don't have to go through the stress of peeling and cutting and smashing and all that. I'm using a white pan because um, this makes it easier for me to coat the snail properly. 
this pan is what I use when I'm doing um, making things like this because it has more space okay then in goes the scotch burner like I said guys don't say because I use all this quantity you should you should know what you can tolerate okay please so now I put just the remaining um, scotch cube, bouillon cube, maggi cube whatever you call it and at the same time I'm just gonna go ahead oh so much noise there's a construction work going on here I'm gonna be adding like um I feel like a teaspoon of smoked paprika a nice color and now the lemon pepper the lemon pepper is not really spicy so don't be worried it's just for the flavor okay and then you give everything a good stir do not allow it to burn keep stirring it just stay right there it doesn't take time also I'm still gonna add a little time time gives it ultimate taste and then you know a little salt and that's it for the seasoning we're just gonna allow it to fry this is how you're gonna know if it's ready when the oil rests on top of the peppers then definitely your all right guys this is actually 35 minutes so this is cooked now to the sauce this time around I'm gonna go ahead remember this pepper that I intentionally cut like this look at that beautiful color guys So I wanted to say thank you to my darling YouTube sister Tejiri. It was her husband that brought this snail for me all the way from Nigeria. And I just added a little bit of the one I had to it. So sister, I appreciate you and your husband. She's a great content creator. I'm also going to drop her link. You can follow her. She's a good nurse. She can teach you healthy ways, you can leave healthy food, you can eat in case you have uh, high blood pressure, cholesterol and stuff like that. Those are the things she does in her channel. Also, some makeup tips. You know, she's kind of um, a newbie in youth, not a newbie all the way, but she's so busy she's not bringing out a lot of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to leave her link follow her you learn a lot she's a good nurse here in the usa you learn a lot from her thank you thank your husband for blessing my family with this beautiful snail as expensive as snail is yet he still remembered me all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead add the snail and let them steam together with the sauce don't bother if some liquid touches it. The liquid will even help to release the um, thickness of the sauce, okay? So here, the snail is in. We'll give it a mix. We'll allow it to steam for like five minutes. Oh my guys, guys, this is our pepper snail. I just added a little water, you know why? I want to eat a, a, a rice, it's been a while. I have jasmine rice, so I'm just going to put it on top of it. So I put in the liquid to loosen it up a little, but it's still not losing, it's still thick. But anyway, so you get the concept, right? So this is your beautiful pepper snail. Go ahead and give it a shot. Like I said, please adjust your seasoning, your spice, whatever you use to your own comfort, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate you guys. Without you guys, there's no Ogon this channel. Thank you so much. If you're coming for the first time into my channel, God bless you. Please do not fail to subscribe. The subscribe button is that red button that says subscribe. Touch it. Click it. Whatever you want to do to it, let it turn gray, okay? Also, tap on the notification bell to get notified anytime that I upload any video at all. And to my returning subscribers, I love you all. God bless you so much for me. Thank you. And please don't forget to like this video. Share this video if you can. Leave me a comment. If you have a question, please feel free. I will definitely answer you. Thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. More grace. Stay safe. Stay blessed.